Welcome back to this hobby of barred watches. I am still in Cali somewhere, parts unknown, watches very well known, location absolutely unknown. Today, uh, this is one of the first times I'm getting my hands on an SKX, but particularly one that's been modded. Uh, G-Money's got an SKX, I've seen it. Uh, never thought about doing it for this series, just one watch. But this one is a bit of an unusual bird. We've got a rare bird today heavily modified by its owner. So the mods on this piece, uh, the parts were sourced from DLW watches in Singapore. And Derek, who's out there as well, did a fabulous job with it. If you've never seen one of their watches. Clearly you've never been to Singapore. So yeah, check those guys out. Uh, pretty amazing piece. Seiko SKX 007. Let's get to it, shall we? Timeless. I'm going eight. I think that the SKX, and I consider that a high score for a watch that has been around, somewhat discontinued now, but you can still get them. But seriously, go get them. Uh, I think these are always going to be around in some way, shape, or form. I could picture Seiko bringing it back. I'm, I'm not high on their Seiko 5 model that supposedly is taking over for it. And why would you cancel this? Why would you can't? What did SKX 007 do to get canceled? Uh, no idea. So I think it's going to be around and is uh, a worthy find. Sportiness. Now this is going to be a weird one. This has 200 meters of water resistance and usually a 10 in the sporty category requires 300. I'm giving it a plus one bonus kick or pass. It's getting a 10. Why? This is the watch that most Rolex Submariner owners also own and use when they go diving if they're going to do it. They don't, no one's taking their Submariner to do what it was meant to do anymore. They're taking this super duper sporty, super affordable, which is going to lend itself to a little bit of uh, safety in wearing it wherever you're going. But also you can bash it up. You can wear it doing anything, anywhere. And if something happens, something happens. It's not the end of the world. So a couple of these mods super quick. So we've got an upgraded movement. It's got hacking. It's day date, of course. We've got an unusual um, flat beveled sapphire. Let me see if you can get in on there and see that. And then it's got a 12 hour insert in a kind of deep sea style uh, bezel. So, you know, poor man's GMT, as they say, you can track a second time zone rather. Uh, very, very useful. This uh, is a K model and the owner didn't need to get the J model. There's only like 30, 40 bucks difference, the word on the street. Everyone's clamoring for the Japan made. Uh, there's really no need, truth be told, near as I can tell. But uh, there's no chapter ring, so there's no alignment issue. <laughs> the much bemoaned Seiko alignment issue, but also the bracelet is robusto. Muy, muy robusto. This is a Strapco. Angus Jubilee that is just purpose built, hard as rocks. And if anything, it's absolutely contributing to the sportiness factor. Brace for impact dressiness. Gosh, it's not dressy. She stands a little bit proud, probably not gonna fit under a cuff. I gotta go five on the dressiness. It's not a begrudging five. It's a cool watch. It's a super nice mod. And it, now that you can do more with the bezel, but you're, just, you're not going to wear it under a suit, right? So no harm, no foul. Lastly, satisfied. Also a five. I'm sorry. It's a great watch. And I think it's a great one watch for someone starting in their collection. So sorry, not sorry. For someone who's used to having a bunch of different watches, this will probably not suffice, but if I was at the beginning of my career, I wish I'd known about this watch. It's such a cool piece. And with everything you can do in the mod culture, actually, I think modding it gives it more credibility as a just one watch. Stock, no. Modded to your liking, absolutely yes. But since I'm more or less trying to tackle the standard SKX in this particular episode. I'm going to stay kind of true north there. We're looking at 28. Not a great score, but still a pretty great just one watch. 
Am I right? I, I can't believe I changed my mind in the middle of it all. I want to mod my own, and then clearly I'm okay with having it as just one watch.